hello everyone welcome back with a brand new video and in this video we will discuss about the brand kung adder and uh, today we are diving into the incredible brand kung adder a powerful arithmetic unit used in high speed computing uh, now before we jump into the brand kunk adder let's quickly recap what an adder does in simple term uh, an adder is a digital circuit that performs addition of two binary numbers that we have already discussed in my previous video it's a fundamental component in computer arithmetic uh, used extensively in processors or tasks like addition and subtraction, you can say. But here's the thing: uh, the traditional adders can be a bit slow, especially in complex computations involving long chains of adders. Enter the Brandcom adder, a game changer in the world of arithmetic units. The let's explain the basic concept uh, behind the Brandcom adder. The Brandcom adder is a high performance adder known for its efficiency, carry, lock ahead structure, which uh, drastically reduces uh, the propagation delay and calculating the uh, carry bits. This enables significantly faster addition of binary numbers compared to conventional adder. Uh, and uh, let's break down uh, this uh, that how a, a brand kung adder is built upon a recursive structure utilizing a network of logarithmic depth this logarithmic structures you can see here um, it minimizes the critical part delay leading to lightning fast additions even in complex operations one of the major advantages of the branch skunk adder is its speed its efficient design makes it highly suitable for applications requiring high speed automatic operations such as in modern processes where speed is crucial for performance now if we see towards the Mm, circuit designing that's how we have designed the circuits and how it's working as uh, you can let you know that i have mm, or these simulations have places these all the inputs on these sides that are a if i zoom for you here a0 a1 a2 and so on up to a7 and here are all the inputs for b0 to b7 here this one is showing us the functionality of the this pin configuration okay so if you will see here that if we have the high two high bits then we will get two high outputs the first one will be high the second one will be low and then again high and then again low so in case you can see here when three bits are high then because of this uh, this end gate we are not getting low hairs and also we are not getting at the p o so when we make this high due to this p2 this changes to the high again and all the bits that we are using it becomes high you can see mm -hmm. here is this bit is not uh, performing any type of uh, you can say this one is a carry bit so this is not affecting on the this circuitry and if you see here to design she required simples for all the inputs uh, and kit and the other one you can say is the let me fix this here I hope you can clearly see this let me check once F11 let me check in the video recorder that no it's not clear let me fix this
the video we require the complete circuitry instead of a smaller one now i hope it's a little bit clear or complete circuit then you we require the AND gate and the XOR gates for all the inputs and all the inputs will directly goes into the AND gate also and into the XOR gate also and then in the second conditions we require these uh, modules or chips you can see ICs to make the branch kunk address these are all ready uh, you can see worked as an adder so we will use this and if we make all of these high and i will let you know that how we getting the outputs here you can see here when here here it is showing us the you can say inputs okay all the inputs pins this is a, a separate adder pins that is uh, automatically directly adding the 255 and now what's happening here here it is adding the all the a inputs and all the b inputs and so we can verify the output using this that the sum of both these is 318 and similarly you can see here that the submissions of both these are 318 now if i in also make both of these high you can check here that the summation is 255 and 255 that is equal to 510 now if we see about the working principles of these three uh, chips then you can see here the and kit is worked in case of when both of the inputs will be high then it will give the high outputs and already we check that the PO is worked when the P2 will be high okay it means it will not work here because of this XOR gates we require if we make this what is it this is B6 if we make this B6 low then it will work here okay you can see here the similar case this one is I think so B7 so we make this one low you can see here so now it's on and we are getting output here so this is for the uh, first one and for the second one you can see you can see here the when the p2 will be on for that we have to make the b5 and uh, b5 low let me low convert to the b5 low and the second one b4 at low now you can see here that this makes this p2 Ons and this PO producing the outputs here that you can see using here for the carry as here we have the outputs that is utilizing here that is showing us submissions here okay yeah now if we move uh, to the second uh, this is I'm saying hey you can say this one is a uh, trick to use the uh, number of uh, these chips that's in the first case we have to use three and the second one we have to use two and in the next one one sorry in the third one we use we have to use to two and again we have to use one then we have to use two in the same conditions here these are separated one then again we have to use one and the last one is one this is a trick you can memorize to add the uh, to design this then the outputs of each two you can sets you can say will be the inputs of an XOR gate here okay you can see here also that the XOR gate is inputs of XOR this one and the outputs of this second one will be the input of this XOR gate similarly here the input of this XOR gate and the output of the third one will be here here you can also see the input of the second and the output of the third one you can here also see that this is the input of this here if i move its log this one is g0 and this one is the input of this xor gate here we have taking so simple this is and so on here this is the designing principle of the branch uh, kunk adder 
and if we go towards the mm, uh, to wrap it up, the brand count adder stands as a testament to innovation in arithmetic tuner design, revolutionizing the speed at which computers perform complex calculations. I hope you find these explorations into the brand count adder both informative and fascinating. And if you did, do not forget to like this video and subscribe for more comments on more content on electrical and electronics and technology fields and if you require any type of assistance in electrical and electronics projects exams assignments and thesis or hardware prototyping you can ping me a message on my whatsapp numbers and also you can visit my upwork and fiber profile thank you so much for watching the video bye bye